square roots of numbers less than 1 or more than 100. Now, in order to evaluate square roots of numbers less than 1 or more than 100, we express the numbers in the form of a times 10 power n or a over 10 power n where a is a number between 1 and 100 and n is an even number so there is a reason as to why n has to uh, uh, must be even and we are going to see that from uh, our examples now we have an extract of a table of square roots so in our first example that's example a we want to evaluate square root of 0 0.0042 using tables so as we said our first task is to express this number so this would be 42 over 10 power 4 so we can write this as root of 42 over root of 10 power 4 so in this case we read this square root from tables that is square root of 42 and for that we get square root by halving the power so halving the power so therefore from tables 42 square root of 42 is and we have it here is 6.4807 over 10 and if we halve the power we are going to have 10 power 2 and therefore our answer becomes 0 0.064807 so in a similar way we can evaluate square root of 300.43 using tables so in this case we are going to express this as root of 3.0043 times 10 power 2 and we can split this to root of 3.0043 times root of 10 power 2 so this part we read from tables
and the second part here we read square root or we get square root by halving the power so therefore we are going to have from tables square root of 3.0043 and remember because we are working with four figure table uh, we are only able to read up to four figures so that would be 3.004 is 1.7332 then times 10 to uh, divide by 2 we are going to get have 10 power 1 so this gives us the answer as 17.332 so in both examples you can see that we are halving the power and that's why n has to be even 